I'm here in Derbyshire today, an area that has historically struggled with bovine TB and the last few years has made huge progress to try and tackle the disease. I wanted to bring together farmers, a vet and someone from the Farming Community Network to talk about TB, have an open and honest conversation of how we can move forward and eradicate this disease. You mentioned, you know, your farm's been in and out of TB, that constant anxiety that you must experience. Yeah, it's it's just been an ongoing thing. You know, you dread every single TB test. You dread it. You don't you don't think, oh, we'll be okay. You absolutely dread it. And even now, when we've gone clear, you know, you just expect the next one you're probably going to go down again because it's been that much of a problem for such a long time. Um, and yeah, the emotional impact it has on all of us, especially my dad, I would say. Um, is huge. I think that they feel they're just being steamrolled. Um, there is a sense of helplessness. You know, it's an inevitability. They have to deal with it. On the surface, actually, farmers are pretty robust. But peel away that, sur that, that surface, and I think underneath there is terrific pain. Uh, I think the government does understand it, but actually, A, doesn't really know what to do about it and it has some sort of sticking plaster solutions. I think the more people that do talk about it in the public domain that will help the public perception as well. They do see it as a business and actually oh you've lost a few cows but actually hearing it isn't just a few cows and it is impacting my business and my family. You know I've sat in people's kitchens little children coming home from school and going and you like, and they burst into tears. In terms of that kind of future direction, particularly here in Derbyshire, where do you hope we'll get to in the next 10 years? TB free county, yeah. officially TB free. Yeah. And I genuinely believe that these guys have tried, I get quite emotional about it, really hard. You know, we did fight to get the badger cull, but at the same time, they had six monthly testing, a lot of gamma testing, lost a lot of cows. They've absolutely engaged in the TB advisory service, the bike security stuff. So I am, as Derbyshire as a county, I think we've thrown everything at this disease. And these guys have invested heavily in their time and financially, but we are seeing TB dropping. And I'm hoping over the next 10, 15, 20 years, it'll keep dropping. I think it's important to highlight, Sarah, you know, you, you have this role in a TB advisory group, but you are a farm vet, you are developing very close relationships with farms and you go on that journey with them and I think it needs to be talked about that vets are part of it and part of the story. Every livestock farm would benefit hugely if we were TB free. I mean, that would be an amazing achievement. Just, hear, just hearing that yeah. word, yeah. TB yeah. free, like, yeah. I'm just interested. Yeah. Well, Jess doesn't here, like, know what TB yeah. free is. Yes, I know. Oh, that's what's sad, is there is a generation yeah. Yeah. of young yeah. farmers. You, you yeah. farmed all your life. Yeah, yeah. 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 I can't TB. remember not having TB, like, or not, not, it not being an issue. So mm -hmm. hearing that, like, yeah. that possibly there is a world, yeah. hopefully, yeah. Yeah. that we could be TB free, Jess, how does that make you feel? I just can't imagine it, to be honest. I can't imagine not having to go for it all. And you I know, think it, it just, yeah, I just can't imagine it. Are you fearful that looking down the track, a next general election, maybe another party comes into power and policies get thrown up in the, uh, thrown up in the air and potentially badger culling might not carry on? It is a massive worry. Because if we go back to that, then it, we've not gained anything. You know, badgers will just start breeding again, they'll overpopulate again, they'll take over and, and we'll be right back to what we were before. You know, it, yeah, it, it's not looking good if that is going to be what happens. Uh, we'll basically be walking backwards. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll be okay for a year or two, but the, pop, the population, if it's not controlled, will, will increase. And, you know, it, it won't be very fast to start with, but if nothing's done, it'll, it'll get bigger and bigger and we'll be in the position we were in five or six years ago where we're just overrun with them. So we've got tools in the box, which actually, like T-Bas, like we, some we've got expertise amongst ourselves more so, farmers are knowledgeable now and talk about it and share and, and, and how they buy cattle is totally different, uh, which helps the situation. And yes, we are on six monthly testing, 
which at times, you know, we all grumble about. But, you know, I'd rather, in one sense, that we had six monthly testing and we kept a lid on it and we were there and it was, you know, that was, is, is, there was positives of that. We have to see the positives of that. But we have a little bit, and of course, we've got the, the cull going on as well. So that's a, another control mechanism, as you might say. And so we do feel that we've actually got a little bit of say and a little bit of action. And uh, certainly as regards the results, as regards incidences of herds going down to the TB in the areas where it has been able to use all these tools in the box, we are actually reducing the incidences of TB. They've not disappeared as we know, but we are really, it is being effective, this policy is. But if you strip away that, we don't want to go back to what we want. We've got to keep moving forward with this policy. That's what we've got to do. Do you feel confident that we will become TB free? If we keep politics out of it, we might have a chance. That, and that is the main thing, I think. We've got to keep moving forward and keep the politics and keep the science at the front and the politics at the back. Yeah, we could, we could be TB free. It, it depends on which way the politics fall in. In the, in the whole scheme of it all? Single word answer, <laughs> no. <laughs> I would love for to say we could be TB free, but I must admit, like, the faith that I have in it is, but I, yeah, I haven't known a time that we've not had TB, so I think it's a bit sort of a surreal thing to even think of. I am adamant by the time I retire we're going to be TV free. <laughs> and I can tell you, <laughs> I can tell how invested and emotional that, that, yes. that, that prospect yeah. makes yeah. you, Sarah.